Greenland is a source of kayaking. The Inuits use the kayaks to travel and to hunt. It's one, one of the hardest things to really comprehend about Greenland is it's such a massive land mass and, uh, and, there's, and there's basically no roads anywhere. It's quite evident that the climate um, changes hit Greenland as well um, because of its um, massive ice pack and it seems to be that all the glaciers um, retreat and the ice pack gets smaller and smaller. 10% of, of the world's freshwater reserves are, are actually here in Greenland, frozen on the ice caps. If all the ice would melt suddenly, the, the level of the oceans would rise about six or seven meters, which would be a big, big problem for the Earth. So we just spent our second night, uh, unexpected night, out here in a, on, a, on an iceberg in the middle of a, of a fjord and a massive flotilla of, of uh, pack ice. I have to admit, I, I, when I opened my eyes this morning in the tent, I, I quickly shut them again and hoped that it was uh, all a dream, but it wasn't. And, but I hopped out of the tent and it was a beautiful day. The sun's shining, uh, there's not a breath of wind, and uh, it's actually quite a unique experience um, out camping on, a, on an iceberg like this. We're just about to get on a, like a pretty small boat uh, with five kayaks and five people. I don't, don't quite know how we're going to fit, but um, hopefully we make it down to down to this river that we've been waiting to to get into for so long. And um, yeah, I think we're just uh, all looking forward to getting there. So we're going to pack on in like sardines. This is the last ice here in some. Aber wir haben ungefähr 20 Meter oder 50 Meter und dann sind wir durch das Packeisfeld durch. Dann müssen wir es eigentlich schaffen. Hat zumindest der Skipper gesagt. Last little bit, guys. We're almost through the pack ice. Yeah, we want to go. Now we're here in the pack ice. Look, worried. Don't laugh.